How to turn a router into an access point. If you just purchase a new router to expand your wireless network, you may need to turn one of them into an access point. This video is going to show you how to turn a router into an access point, including two parts. Part 1 If the router supports AP mode, your typology may look like this. Part 2. If the router doesn't support AP mode, your typology may look like this. Preparation. Before we start, you need to know how to find the IP of your router. Just connect a computer to a router via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. If your computer is a Windows computer, right-click on the network icon and open Network and Sharing Center. Click on the network you've connected to and click on Details. Look for the IPv4 default gateway and that is the IP address of the router. Method 2, click on search, type in CMD in the search bar and open command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in ipconfig and hit enter. Again, look for the default gateway, that is the IP address of the router. If you're on a Mac, go to System Preferences, click on Network, click on Advanced, click on TCP slash IP, and look for Router. That is the router's IP address. Now Part 1, if the router supports AP mode. Connect to the router which is to be the access point. And then open a web browser. In the URL, type in the router's IP address. And then click enter. Log into the router. On the main screen, click on advanced at the top. Then click on Operation Mode. Choose Access Point and click Save. Verify by clicking Yes. And the router will reboot itself. After reboot, connect the two routers together. The LAN port of the main router will go to the WAN port of the access point. Reconnect to the AP and open the web interface via TP-Link Wi-Fi.net. Log into the access point. And run the quick setup to customize your Wi Fi settings. Go to the status page and look under network for IP address. This is the IP address that the main router has assigned. You can also use this IP address to get into the web interface. You 
can also open the web interface of the main router. You can go to DHCP client list and check the IP address of the access point. Now your topology may look like this. You can always come back to the web interface via the IP. You can customize your Wi-Fi settings. Click on wireless, the wireless settings, then choose your network name and password and click save when done. Reminder, the IP of your main router and access point are different from this video. Here are a list of routers that support access point mode. Part 2, if the router does not support AP mode. Please first find the IP of the main router and refer to preparation. In this case, it's 192.168.0.1. If we want to add a device to this router, we'll need to give it an IP between 192.168.0.2 to 192.168.0.254. In this case, we pick 192.168.0.2 for the AP. Connect to the old router that you want to be the AP. If same, find out its IP address. It's also 192.168.0.1, so we need to change it. Open a web browser and log into the router. Go to Network, click on LAN, L-A-N, and click in the address box next to IP address. Change the IP address to 192.168.0.2, and click Save. Click OK to confirm, the router will reboot automatically. Reconnect to it and open the web interface using 192.168.0.2. Log in. Now on the left hand side, click on DHCP. Click on DHCP settings. And then disable DHCP server. Click on save. In this case, connecting the two routers, you will connect the two routers via the LAN ports. LAN on the router, as well as LAN on the AP. You will not use the WAN port of the AP. function as an access point. Thanks for watching.